So now I want to share with you some other compelling studies. According to Duke University, most American men are taking prescription drugs by the age of 40. Most American women are taking prescription drugs by the age of 15. Think about that. There is a 25 year age gap between when most women start taking medications and most men. Why is it that most women are starting to take drugs by the age of 15? Birth control. That's why. And so that is the biggest reason why. And listen, there are side effects of birth control, which I'll get into in a minute, but that is crazy that girls at 15 years old, they're not even able to drive yet, but they're already, most of them are on some form of prescription medication. Birth control for women is prescribed for many things, whether it be uh, sexual promiscuity, or it could be, uh, could be acne is one of the most common causes, or it could be trying to balance out hormones or even depression. There are many reasons why uh, birth control is prescribed, but that is a big, big difference and something very damaging, I believe, we're doing to young women at 15 years of age already being on medications. Now, contraceptives and birth control deplete your body of vitamin B2, B3, B6, B12, vitamin C, healthy gut bacteria, so probiotics, magnesium, and zinc. And so if, if, if you have a young girl who starts taking contraceptives at 15 years old and take them until they're 30 years old, okay, let's just for 15 years for an example, the deficiencies, the bankruptcy of nutrients is overwhelming of B vitamins, which are critical for energy and neurological health and liver health and really the health of all your cells. Vitamin C, your immune system. Zinc for your immune system. Magnesium is responsible for over 300 different functions in your body and healthy gut bacteria. Now, I want to share this from clinical experience. Remember, I ran a functional medicine clinic for many years and and, and, and helped a lot of women with... Um, with other physicians with getting off their medications. And healthy gut bacteria was the one I know was the deficiency I noticed the most. When women would come into me and they would get off their contraceptive medications, the side effects of yeast and candida overgrowth were were really significant, really significant. And so it really took a while for their hormones and body to start to balance out, sometimes years to balance out due to the side effects of contraceptives uh, there as well. Now, I do want to mention this before I get into the next medications. Listen, if you are on any of these medications and you don't feel compelled or convicted to get off of them in working with your physician, then at the very least, you should go and make sure you are addressing these nutrient deficiencies. Now, do I believe even when you take these nutrients, you're likely to have some level of deficiency of, of one of them and also some side effects? Yes, but it should lessen it significantly. If you work with a functional medicine doctor, a, a, a woman, a, a young girl should never have to get on birth control for, for unless you're taking it for um, preg pregnancy or for, for uh, avoiding pregnancy, which again, natural family planning is the way to do that a much better way. But if you're doing it for something like acne, see a functional medicine practitioner or a dietitian or a health coach, they will be able to likely help you with that. I'm not one of those doctors that said there should be zero medications ever prescribed. I don't believe that. I do believe there's certain medications at certain times for emergencies, but probably 90% of medications today that people are taking, they shouldn't be taking. Or if they get on it, it should be with a three month plan to get them on it for a short time and then get them off it as soon as possible because we're doing things regarding mindset and diet and lifestyle that are going to actually get to the root cause of the problem. Hey, if you liked this, then watch my full episode right here.